Hia is a pistachio saleswoman, known as the Pistachio Girl. And here she is, enjoying her little line of work. Hey. What's up, man? How's How you your, doing? How's your cartoon going? Oh, cartoon's going excellent. I just put out a trailer for it, actually. I think I might have seen it. Oh, wow. She's an animator, too. That's pretty cool. I sure do hope that she's not insane. This is Emily Yukis, and this will definitely be one of the stranger installments for my channel so far. At Philadelphia Phillies games, a baseball team, Emily would turn up, usually sporting a Make Phillies Great Again hat, where she would then sell peanuts and be very, very annoying. However, Emily's time as the Pistachio Girl would come to an end around December 2016, for reasons we'll get onto later. Before we get on to this however, let's talk about the real meat of Emily Yukis' career, where she would make animations, notably on Newgrounds. The main content of these was the absurdism that came with these animations, as portrayed in this video, Walmart Girls. Not really got anything to add to that. The main animations that she's known for were her Alfred Alpha series. These animations follow the titular dog Alfred Alpha as he slowly descends into madness. The first couple of animations don't really follow this and are just some random scenarios, including a very Family Guy-esque Christmas special. You might think that Christmas is just about getting drunk off your ass at holiday parties, strippers and erotic Santa Claus suits, and shooting at holiday carolers on your lawn. But it is really about Jesus being born. And that will be the story I will tell you today. Oh, uh, whatever, I'll listen. It's better than eating my own throw up. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Except for my brother who was feeding his porn addiction. Get out of here! However, the most interesting part of the Alfred Alpha series is Alfred's Playhouse, where again absurdism is the main theme of the animation, although there are dark parts to it with dictators appearing multiple times throughout, as well as Grape. This is furthered in the Alfred Alpha movie. This movie really isn't that interesting, it's just very grotesque to say the least. However, something that is interesting is the end where Donald Trump features heavily, for some reason, as well as some spicy figures such as Moon Man, Pepe the Frog, and Sam Hyde. Now, I'm going to be honest, I cannot read anything from this. I hate absurdity. But what point does this serve at all? What do these figures have to do with a dog that's crazy? I will try to get onto this a bit later, but first I'd like to get to the funnier parts of Emily. There was something called the that Emily show, with this background of Emily dancing being one of these. Honestly, I don't know what you'd call them, but whatever they are, they are dreadfully unfunny. I just can't really describe them. Are they skits? Also, something that comes up a lot with Emily's content is her singing. And while she's likely better than the average person, she is not a good singer. So it's really annoying and I know as I've watched a lot of content from her and it is awful and yet she continues to do it. Further to this there is some more content where she makes an ass of herself however this time it wasn't of her own creation and instead at the 2016 MAGFest where around an hour in she tries to invite herself on the panel and just sits behind them mainly Rice Pirate Mick, who, fun fact, urinated in the sink during this panel due to his level of intoxication. Throughout her time sitting behind the panel, she gets up multiple times and screams into the mic, making unfunny jokes that nobody laughs at and just being obnoxious. Rice Pirate Mick, who again was very drunk, got annoyed at her multiple times, which is justified 
shouting at her, and even threatening to hit her. Okay, I have three things that should be quick provided- Hey, I Emily, shut two. the fuck up! Yeah, Emily, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Fight! 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 Damn it! No, um, okay, three things. Now it's me, Emily Lucas. I'm pulling in for Rice Pilot Mick because he's out of, uh, he's out of condition right now. <laughs> Emily's an animator. She gets away with it. Okay, what was you saying? What? Okay, three things. Okay. <laughs> That's right, Alfred, bitch! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, what? what? Let the guy talk. Mick, come on now. Mick doesn't have anything. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Emily Yukas. I only get paid when I Fuck produce. Off! <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not even here. God Say God. it, goddamn. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Don't Emily the strong will kill you. The week. <laughs> Put me in a headlock, man. Well. All right, Patreon.com slash Emily Yukas. I only get paid when I produce. So there you go. Fucking produce. How about that? Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Making a feature oh. film. Emily, oh. I don't want to fuck you. Hey. Shut shut shit. I mean, uh, come on, come on, do it, man. Shut up. Shut the fuck. Okay, you? Oh, I've heard horror stories and and good stories, so. <laughs> All right. Bibs, if you did porn, I swear to god, you'd make like 10 times more money cuz your characters are fucking hot and you got to do porn. I don't know who the fuck is answering this question, but I want to no? <laughs> oh, wow. They're boring. Off, man. They're FUCK YOU! What? <laughs> <laughs> really, this whole panel is just a mess. With one instance in particular being the most notable. But Emily is just awful in this, in my opinion. But I've not really seen many people talk about it. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to get a bit serious with this before we get them to where Emily is now. But during her time on this panel, she spoke about how if she was not animating, she would not be around. Now, I'm going to have to armchair psychologist here, but there is something clearly wrong with her, which is very clear if you've seen the Alfred Alpha series, although I cannot show it, but I wouldn't remember watching it. But if you did, it would become very, very clear. During Alfred's Playhouse, as I stated before, Grape comes up quite frequently, and this is seemingly related to her own history, which she spoke about in a Newgrounds comment. This would not be evidence enough, but her father George has been convicted of crimes that seem to line up with what she's saying. So, hopefully to try and make this video more lighthearted from the previous segment, I'm now going to talk about Emily's political beliefs. Why would I do that, you may wonder? Well, I'll get into it. As I stated with the Alfred Alpha movie, Trump appeared, for some reason. Well, she is politically right-wing more so than most people, appearing in a rally with Richard Spencer. If you consider Shia LaBeouf a lol cow, there may be a bit of a cow crossover, as Emily appeared during one of the He Will Not Divide Us streams, where she screams, Sadly, a lot of evidence for what has been found on Emily has been removed, so take what I'm going to say with a grain of salt. In an interview, Emily allegedly revealed that Paul is where she gets all of her information from, stating that she moved to South Korea as there were no Jewish or black people there, as well as people of the Muslim faith. Well, how is Emily now? Well, she is married seemingly having her wedding on the 20th of April, 2019. Which is a bit of a date that you may be able to relate with someone else who is very right-wing. Someone maybe with a funny little moustache. She now no longer uploads to her new grounds and her YouTube channel has been taken down. So she now uploads on BitChute. And the uploads have mostly consisted of her uh, rapping. I'm going to be honest, I have not and will not listen to these. I'm very sorry, but I cannot bring myself to do this, and I will not play it either, as I have respect for you. Honestly, Emily has to be the least charming of all the lol cows that I've covered so far. And you've seen the lol cows I've covered. A lot of them are stinkers. She is just annoying, obnoxious, and incredibly unfunny. 
somehow, for some reason, many people in the Kiwi Farms thread have been quite defensive of her, and I just cannot understand why. I'm even going to have to call out Null for this, who throughout the thread burst for her, and I just don't get it. She's not entertaining, nor is she particularly attractive. So, if anybody is wondering, unlike many on the Kiwi Farms, I wouldn't. So, I just wanted to end this video with a, a bit of an apology. Uh, I've not uploaded in a few days. You, you may be able to figure out why uh, by just audio alone. I'm quite ill. Uh, so, this, this audio is going to be very bad. So, sorry for that. Uh, if you've got to this point throughout this somehow even worse audio than I normally have, uh, good job. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope I'll be getting more videos out soon. And again, sorry that I just sound so stuffy. Just, ugh.